this is an aluminium bit that I was going to use to clean this up but the compressor's off so I'll go use the other one. that drilled out just tapping it now got the impeller sitting in the housing that's all fixed up and ground up so I can just put a bolt in here where I tap that out and hopefully that this bolt here will actually take the whole thrust because of that as that's screwing that bearing there is what takes all the thrust the 3d printer is printing me out a cone I tried to make a cone but printing it this way up so I could use less support material but uh, it like slides on the bed a little bit and gets out of sync so it just sort of press a print beside itself. I've heard you can use glue sticks and stuff on the bed because it's a glass bed. Let me know in the comments what you guys do. That's actually a pretty good fit. I got the grease nipple in the end now. Uh, these two bolts here just hold the whole thing in. I was going to print another one in 100% infill, but I might just try it with this one for now, see if it holds up. It does scrape a little bit, but I'm sure it'll wear itself in. We're back in the shed, photo rolled up, 5mm plate, going to be tough as, so let's cut, start cutting it to shape. So these are the intakes I've made in the past, this is the first one I made, it's got a pretty sweet grill on it. This is the one for the surfboard, they're both sort of the same style, but for this one I'm going to do a bit of a different style. I want to do more like this style, where it sort of curves up gradually and then humps over, I think it'll get a bit better flow, so let's try and make that. Okay, mostly all tacked together. I've put a ridge around the outside so I can bolt it into the boat. A tricky thing you have to do is drill a hole in here for the shaft to go through that drives it. I'm going to figure out a way of measuring it so I can drill it in the drill press. Okay, I've splashed out and brought a brand new hole saw. Got this sort of clamped in here. So I've squared off this edge to the centre and in between the back face edge to the centre. So hopefully it's dead right. Might just throw a couple more clamps on and start drilling. I 
I had to hammer that last piece out because the hole saw wasn't quite deep enough. Let's see if I got it right. That's just perfect, I think. Alright, yesterday I got this mostly welded off. But it was a struggle because the welder kept tripping out. Uh, welding it up at about 160 amps, which would trip the welder, so I had to back off down to 150 amps. Even then it was still tripping out the power. And it wasn't quite enough heat to weld it, so I'm, just, I'm up early this morning, gonna give it a quick heat up, and then start welding it now with no other power going. Bit of a morning cook up going while well, it's cooking up. Just talk about this helmet quickly. I've got this 3M speed glass helmet. I've had it for about six months now. I use it mostly at work when doing heavy fabrication. So it has a little backpack you wear with a battery on the bottom. I've got two batteries for it. So it sucks air through this filter here and blows it in where your mouth is there and your, your face is kind of sealed off in there. The front flips up so you can grind. It's got an auto darkening lens that you can adjust. It's honestly so comfortable. I wear it when I'm TIG welding as well, even though you probably don't need to, but it's really expensive. I'm not sponsored by them or nothing. I'm just saying it's great. I have had a story when you're TIG welding, you're up close to the torch, you're breathing in the argon, and then that argon sits in your lungs and doesn't come back out and you've got to hang upside down to get the argon out. Breathe upside down for a while. I don't know if this is true or not. Let me know what you think in the comments. That's hot. It's all welded off now, bolted up to the jet unit. Now I've got to see if it fits in here. I've just got to pull everything else out of here first. This is where the jet unit's going to sit. In here. So it's all, all good when the wheels are up. But I think when they go down, this bar here is going to collide with it but I can't even get it sitting in the right position till it's cut out properly and I have to try and make this piece fit in here too so maybe I'll do that first We've got the intake sitting in there. A lot more work to do. I'm probably going to have to change this into a four wheeler because three wheels and that much power is going to be a disaster. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.